Hi, my name is Lyra Scout, and this is a brief WikiBits video about Robert Boyle. Robert William Boyle, January 25, 1627 to December 31, 1691, was an Anglo-Irish natural philosopher, chemist, physicist, and inventor who was born in Lismore, County Waterford, Ireland. Boyle is largely regarded today as the first modern chemist, and therefore one of the founders of modern chemistry, and one of the pioneers of the modern experimental scientific method. He is best known for Boyle's Law, which describes the inversely proportional relationship between the absolute pressure and volume of a gas, if the temperature is kept constant within a closed system. Among his works, the skeptical chemist is seen as a cornerstone book in the field of chemistry. He was a devout and pious Anglican and is noted for his writings in theology. Boyle was born in Lismore Castle, in County Waterford, Ireland, the seventh son and fourteenth child of Richard Boyle, first Earl of Cork, and Catherine Fenton. He received private tutoring in Latin, Greek, and French, and when he was eight years old, following the death of his mother, he was sent to Eton College in England. Following the death of his father, Boyle devoted his life to scientific research. Boyle's great merit as a scientific investigator is that he carried out the principles that Francis Bacon espoused in the Novum Organum. Yet he would not avow himself a follower of Bacon, or indeed of any other teacher. He regarded the acquisition of knowledge as an end in itself, and in consequence he gained a wider outlook on the aims of scientific inquiry than had been enjoyed by his predecessors for many centuries. Despite the important work he accomplished in physics, including the enunciation of Boyle's law, the discovery of the role of air in the propagation of sound, investigations on the expansive force of freezing water, specific gravities, refractive powers, crystals, electricity, color, hydrostatics, etc., chemistry was his peculiar and favorite area of study. Boyle endorsed the view of elements as the undecomposable constituents of material bodies, and made the distinction between mixtures and compounds. He made considerable progress in the technique of detecting their ingredients, a process that he designated by the term analysis. He further supposed that the elements were ultimately composed of particles of various sorts and sizes, into which, however, they were not to be resolved in any known way. He studied the chemistry of combustion and of respiration, and conducted experiments in physiology, where, however, he was hampered by the tenderness of his nature, which kept him from anatomical dissections, though he knew them to be most instructing. Well my friends, I hope you've enjoyed this brief video about Robert Boyle. Until next time, this has been Lyra Scout for Wikivids.